pulling up to the track. There ain't really nobody in the staging lanes over there. Some cars here though. That's right, we're at the track. I'm gonna go in, get everything situated, and then I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Alright, got my armband, ready to go. Car's pretty hot. 192 cool and temp, 192 trans temp, 114 air intake temp. It's pretty warm. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the GoPro up here, go up to staging lanes. There ain't too many people here. Let's do it. Come on, 13s. Got my helmet just in case I need it. Probably won't need it. Four proms. Okay, we're getting ready. something's up with the car a 15 flat and we killed it on a tree again a 106 so i'm gonna let it cool down it's pretty hot 208 for the 10 core temp 205 for the trans temp i'm gonna let it cool down i don't know i, I think something's wrong with the car I think two hellcats <laughs>
2-1 reaction or a 2 one foot and this was a 2 2 foot so that was better okay i'm retuning the car as we speak you can't really see i don't feel like turning the gopro that much but um here's my two passes this was the first one the 15 flat and i did have a little hesitation because i thought i read lit at first but it was just a good reaction time not great but good it was it was pretty good but I think that's my problem, is the reaction time. I, I want to cut a reaction time so good that i um, screwing up the rest of my pass. This was tuned. This was not tuned, and I ran a 14.4. This 14.40 is faster than either of my last two passes I've made on the car. So that's pretty crazy. I'm going to retune the, the car right now, like I said. And then I'm going to go out, let it cool down for a second, and go back out and make another pass. And see what goes from there. Um... That's just amazing, 14.4 untuned. So if we can pick up our three tenths originally, we'll be back to a 14.1. And I changed the plugs and got a new air filter since the last time, so. Retune the car. It's ready. It just doesn't seem right though with the tune on. So, I don't know, we'll see. See if we can burn a 14.4. It doesn't seem right though whenever it's, it's idling. I'd be happy realistically. Gotta not worry about that reaction time. save money so I'm gonna go to the dyno and just get a dyno tune and um, go from there and see if I can just get a custom tune put on the, on my tuner right here on the Livewire TS Plus. It's getting pretty busy. Got a bunch of people out there. I'm gonna call it quits. Having problems with that tuner. I'll pick this up back at the house, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Gotta get this little one home. So it's Friday, Friday night, about 10.30, um, the day after test and tune, that was last night, Thursday. Um, really wasn't that many people there. There was a few people there that you may know. One, um, Garrett, Cletus McFarland, he was there making some passes with Leroy, he made three passes. One of them... I got on video. That pass was a 9 flat. And then he made two other passes. One was an 8 5. And then his last pass, I don't know what he made. Um, I wasn't there. I'd already left. But whatever it was, was his quickest yet for the car. You can go over and watch his channel if you want to find out what he ran. And then his sidekick, Cooper, he was there with the CTSV that they've been building. Um, I was walking to my car to go make another pass when he made his pass. So I don't know what he ran. I heard it wasn't that good. Um, probably had traction issues trying to launch it. That would be my guess. But I don't know. I didn't witness it. So who knows. And then Sick2JZ. He was there with his gutted car. But I didn't see him make any passes. He did make a pass because he posted a picture on Instagram. Um, but I must have just missed it. When I'm there, I'm more worried about what I'm doing. And not really what everybody else is doing. I get some videos, as you've seen, um, of some races as I'm up there getting food or something like that, let my car cool down. But for the most part, I'm trying to just do my own thing when I'm there with my car. So let's get to it. The car. My, my only thing that I can think of, obviously, is the tune. Um, something is up with the tuner. And every single time since I've put it on, it made its fastest pass and then has been getting slower every each and every time. Now I've done a few things. 
um, to the car, but it's been like spark plugs, a new air filter, nothing that crazy to make me go that much slower. I get my time slips back here in the back of the car, so let's check them out. This one was my first pass on the tune, second pass, no tune, third pass on the tune. Um, it's just crazy, a 15 flat and a 15 one on the tune and a 14 four off the tune. And both of these were 92 miles an hour and this one was 96, which is more with what I've been running. So I really don't know what the heck is up with that tune. I mean, for me to run a 14.4 off the, the SCT tuner, not even, not tune nothing back onto the stock tune, and then to run a 15 flat and a 15.1 on the SCT tuner, um, it's just crazy. And it's just a basic tune from SCT when you get the tuner. And then I put in my own things, like the car has 24-pound um, injectors, so I select 24-pound injectors. You know, I can select what time my, or what temperature my fans come on with. Other than that, I don't really mess with them much. I don't mess with the, the spark or the air fuel or nothing like that. So I don't know what is up. And when we first, and if you remember, when we first installed the tuner, my best pass was a 14.125. So, I mean, my last pass last night would be over a whole second slower than what the fastest pass I've made in the car over the past two months. So I don't get it. That is just mind-blowing. So I'm going to go um, hook up the tuner either tonight or tomorrow under my laptop and try to figure it out and see what I can come up with. Um, I just plugged it in, I would say a month ago, not even, and um, seen if it needed an update, and it didn't. It was good. So I don't think it's that, but maybe in the month's time, it um, they've updated the software and it needs to update. I don't see it, but I, at this point, I don't know. And what's weird is it doesn't feel, you know, six to seven tenths slower when you're driving the car as shown in my time slips. Especially with when, when I'm on the tune, when I have the car tuned, um, it shifts a lot harder. You can feel it, you know, when you get to bang the next gear, it, um, it really is a lot more brutal, more violent than when you're not on the tune. And that's because it increases the pressure and everything but still I don't I don't know I just am amazed how the car ran so much better off the tune than on the tune and for that 15 one my last pass when I had reinstalled the tune back onto it which is the same tune I've always used and had um, it was running pretty rough I mean it was bucking there for a second it seemed like it was firing on only a few cylinders so I don't know what that is. I drove the 50, 60 miles home off the tune. Everything was fine. Other than my transmission seems like it doesn't want to shift as firm. But that's because it's not. You know, with a, I'm used to the tune now. For the past month I've been driving around with it. And it firms up the shifts. That's the word I was looking for. Firm. Um, it firms up the shifts a lot more. So I'm kind of used to it. So now with it not being tuned, it just feels a little funny. I got to get back used to it. And not to mention, I mean... The transmission does have, you know, 138, 39,000 miles on it. Who knows how much of abuse. I've only owned the car for 1,000 miles maybe. You know, two months. So, I don't know. I think this exhaust manifold gasket is leaking on this side. If it's not, then it might be something on the top of the motor. I might take it apart. If so, I need to go get a gasket for the valve cover. If I do decide to take it apart to check everything up top cross your fingers it's not I don't know I was there I even pushed down on all my coil packs to see if maybe one of them was not pushed down all the way maybe popped back up a little bit but it all seemed fine and what I don't get is how it just runs so much better off the tune so I mean it can't really be something mechanical with the car um, if it's busting out a 14.4 which a 14.4 off the tune is the car's fastest time not tuned because that was a 14408 and I think my fastest not tuned before was a 14 45 
I think I'll have to get out my old slips. Everybody's sleeping, so I'm not going to try to go digging for my old slips. Um, but yeah, so that, I mean, that was the fastest pass. Not tuned. And I did get the secondary cats removed since then. Um, that was just done, you know, like two or three weeks ago. So, I mean, that seems legit and right. And I did the plugs not too long ago. Got the new filter. Changed the, the tranny fluid and filter. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to hook it up to the computer, the tuner, wherever the hell it is. Um, and just see. Got another box or something. It's no go fast parts, but it's something the car definitely direly needs. Especially being here in Florida. So I'm probably doing a video tomorrow of me unboxing it. I don't know when I'm going to upload it. It depends on when I get this video uploaded. Hopefully I get it done tonight, but now I'm sure it's probably close to 11. 10.51. So we'll see if I get this one done tonight and how that plays out. I don't know what's up with the car. Ford problems. But I do want to thank everybody that sticks around and watches. It's not too many of you. you know, I got almost 1,100 subscribers. I get 30, 40 views. But hey, you know what? I don't care. I have fun doing it, and that's all that really matters. I never thought I'd be where I'm at today, especially with YouTube having over a thousand subscribers, which isn't a lot. Don't get me wrong. A thousand is nothing. But compared to a lot of people, that's something. You know, and people that work hard know how hard it is to get to a thousand. So we'll just have to see. Like I said, thanks for watching. Give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Comment down below. Say something. Say what's up. Till next time. Peace.